This is the stunning Gothic cathedral of Chartres, just south of Paris and north of the Loire Valley, in the region called La Beauce. This is the flattest agricultural landscape of France. The farmers are successful at growing the wheat that is used to make the bread that the whole world raves about. I am here to find out the secret of the French baguette. The wonderful French baguette is the result of much care. It starts by making the best possible flour from wheat and my meeting with sixth generation local miller, Alexandre Viron, gives me important answers to the secret. Our flour is good because we are lucky to be in the wheat area of France called La Beauce and we can blend all types of wheat, all varieties, uh, to be able to produce the flour we need to let our customer bakers do the, the good baguette. So the blending is uh, at first to know varieties and to take the best one to be able to produce the most regular flour all over the year. Cyril Laver, a master baker from Chartres, makes some of the best traditional bread of the region in his boulangerie, using only yeast, salt, filtered water, and the special wheat flour. One of his secrets is to knead those four ingredients at low speed to form a relaxed dough. After resting it for one hour comes the big secret, a slow fermentation. This is a fermenting room at low temperature. The bread ferments here for 15 hours very slowly and that will give lots of flavor to the bread. The superb dough is divided, then shaped into baguettes and cooked into crusty sticks with a thin and appetizing golden crust and an irresistible aroma. Voilà, euh, une, une belle baguette, Gabriel, alvéolée. Une odeur, une mie un petit peu crème. Voilà à quoi on reconnaît euh, une bonne baguette qui est pétrie de façon lente, où on a donné le temps à la pâte et le temps au travail. This delicious toasted brioche dish is made using one day old brioche and is so easy to prepare. First, in a pan on medium heat, I place one cup of milk with 30 grams of caster sugar and half a vanilla pod. Whisk all the ingredients until the sugar has melted, then transfer to a white dish to cool. Next, I beat an egg with 20 grams of sugar. I then cut six thick slices of brioche. I briefly dip the brioche slices in the cold milk and lightly coat them with the egg mix. I cook the brioche in batter on both sides until golden brown. This is a popular special occasion breakfast for the French family. I like to serve the sweet toasted brioche dusted with icing sugar and a little cinnamon. Voilà, the brioche perdu. Perfect for a Sunday breakfast with red fruits. After three glorious weeks in provincial France, this is Paris and tomorrow, I visit a great cheese shop where I taste an amazing brie that is made just outside Paris.